do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human respiration in that we are studying topic trachea now when i say trachea it means the windpipe present in human beings so let us study something about this windpipe or trachea in detail when i say about trachea whenever you inhale air your air would pass down from your nose then to your pharynx region by passing through pharyngeal region or nasopharyngeal region then it reaches down to your throat and finally it reaches to your trachea region in between obviously oropharynx epiglottis would be there your larynx would be there and finally it reaches to trachea now what is this trachea trachea could be said as a wind pipe in human beings trachea is nothing but a 12 cm hollow pipe that actually contracts and relaxes yes there is a contraction and relaxation in trachea trachea basically consists of c shape and when i say c shape literally c shaped pipes this cartilaginous regions of c shaped pipes help in breathing efficiently also trachea is lined by ciliated mucus so whenever you breathe in if the air is having a mixture of dust pollutants hair like particles the mucus try to trap or catch hold of those bacteria those dust like particles or any other minute soil like particles if you are inhaling that and make sure that only pure air reaches down further the respiratory tract now inside mucus there are small brush like borders which are cilia that actually help in this movement ciliated movements or ciliated epithelium is the reason for which bacteria is been catch hold trachea or in simple language i could say wind pipe now larynx or adams apple or voice box whenever air reaches from your nasal region to your pharynx and by going through larynx finally air reaches to this wind pipe termed as trachea your wind pipe or trachea is approximately 12 cm in length and 2.5 cm wide it shows a c shape cartilaginous rings now this c shaped cartilaginous rings help in support the walls of trachea as well as bronchi or bronchioles so as to prevent collapsing or falling trachea is internally lined by ciliated mucus
basically trachea is lung down by or there is a presence of ciliated epithelium in trachea and this cilia or ciliated epithelium or you can say brush like borders help in the movement of mucus region and this mucus region basically with the help of cilia trap bacteria which could be present in your inhaled air or foreign particles which could be dust pollen grains minute soil particles which are inhaled whenever you're taking in a respiring air after that mucus and dust particles leave the air passage and are normally swallowed down. So once air passes down your trachea or windpipe, this is the function that takes place. Students, this is a diagram of trachea. As we have talked about, that trachea is a C-shaped cartilaginous region or ring made structure as you can see this is a c-shaped structure of trachea and this c-shaped region of trachea help trachea to contract a little bit if required especially if you are eating food at a very faster rate or if you're eating or swallowing things without chewing and biting at that time pressure is created both on your respiratory system as well as your swallowing system at that time trachea has to function little differently also your trachea or your windpipe is further divided into short branches which are termed as bronchus or bronchi and at the end of this bronchus or bronchi there are bag like structures which are termed as alveoli so students in this part of the chapter what we did study was about trachea now if i have to give an order of how the respiratory system works first would be your nasal cavity next would be your pharynx. Now pharynx would be divided into oropharynx and nasopharynx. After that there would be two pipes. One is your food pipe which is termed as esophagus and another one is your wind pipe which is your trachea, the c-shaped pipe. I hope students we are very clear with this concept of what trachea is, how does it functions and what are the systems or organs associated with it. Thank you.